of course, the other District 22 team will come in Friday night. The victory between Hurley and Centerville. And District 18 semifinals, Baltic against West Central. And Del Rapids Public and Del Rapids St. Mary's will be Friday evening. And two and a half inches per man on the average. To jump center is 6'6", Keith Massey for Freeman. Against 6'2", Mike Huseman. Huseman gives away four inches. The tip is Freeman. And Petey works to the end line. A little lob pass across the defense to Mark Gross. Ten-footer skip the rim, not good. Rebound is picked off by Kelly Flynn. And Parker is attacking. Here's Mike Begaman bringing up, moving the ball off to Mike Roth in on the high post to Huseman. Huseman feeds off. Wide open layup. Begaman in. Begaman in a wide open layup. It's two to nothing. Wide open. Into the front court comes Kirk. Up four, pass to Petey, shooting up, not good. Follow shot is in for Keith Massey. Massey scores with 35 seconds gone at two to two. Game is deadlocked, two up. Begaman's into the front court. Gets loose on Gertz. Drives, shooting the ball comes down and is a tie ball between Petey. Bob Petey jumping here with Mike Huseman. Petey out tipped him, getting the ball to Keith Massey. Freeman has two and a half inches height advantage per man. Mark Gross brings up. The teams did not play each other. Gertz moving off to Gross. Pass down off the outside. There's a long one going in from Gary Gertz. Gertz rattles the rim on the side of the circle, and it's four to two. Freeman has taken the lead. Into the front court comes Mike Roth. Bounce pass is on the side to Kelly Flynn. Driving, faking, feeding off. The shot is deflected. A foul is charged on Massey as Huseman tied the layup. It'll be a two-shot foul. Massey's first foul, the first team foul in either club, and Mike Huseman gets a chance to tie the game with a pair. It's 4-2 Freeman, a minute 15 into the game. Tremendous crowd. Could be an all-time district tournament crowd outside of a championship game. Huseman scores the free throw, and it would take quite a crowd for a championship game to beat 6,000 estimated. Here's the second shot. He was went in and out and back in on the glass to the net, and it's four to four. Game is tied for the second time into the front court is Mark Gross. Both teams appear to be very loose. Pass to Gertz. Now here's Petey feeding off. Here's a Gertz 15-footer ripping off that rim. Not good. Mike Begaman rebounds for Parker. Begaman's up court, feeding off to Kelly Flynn. Back to Begaman, poking from 22. It's rolling, not good. The ball is on the floor and picked up at the baseline by Kent Miller. Miller is outletting to Mark Gross. Gross up court, feeds off to Miller. Miller outside to Mark Gross. Gross to Petey on the corner. It's four to four. Petey's circle dribbling, cutting into the lane. The pass off deflected and picked up by Huseman. Huseman on the steal and giving to Mike Begaman. Begaman off to Mike Roth. Roth driving down the left side. Two minutes into the game, it's four to four. Here is Flynn moving off a screen to the baseline, coming back out now. Feeding off to Roth, he can't get through. Back out on the point. And a drive and a shot is jumping the rim, not good. The follow by Huseman. Huseman scoring as Stapleton missed the shot. That's six to four. Parker has the lead back. Pressure defense by Parker. And there are whistles as the play goes up floor. A timeout for Freeman. Six. Owner offers a complete line of Phillips 66 products, 24-hour emergency towing, bulk service, and auto tune-up. Freeman sets up. Petey on the corner back out. Pass in on the lane. A shot is skimming the rim. Not good. The rebound is up and good for Kent Miller. And the game is deadlocked at 6-6. Six and six. The third tie of the contest in the first two minutes and 40 seconds. Third time it's tied. Bounce pass to Robert Stapleton on the deep corner in the south court. Feed off to Huseman coming under. Feed off to Mike Roth. He travels. Freeman lets go with a robust cheer as the turnover goes to their team. And here's Gary Gertz bringing up, giving to Mark Gross. Gross to the front court, off to Gertz. On the side to Bob Petey. Petey on the deep corner to Miller. In on the post to Keith Massey. Back out, long shot, Gertz. Slips the rim, not good. The rebound is pumped up and good for Keith Massey. Massey, the 6'6 junior center, scores the 8 to 6. The lead to Freeman. The lead has changed hands for a third time. Into the front zone, here's Mike Begaman. Feeding to Huseman, back to Begaman. Coming in, he's pissed, scissored, but gets through. Missed the shot. Rebound by Petey. Petey feeds up court to Gross. 
who loses the ball for a moment, flips it back into Huseman, and Parker, the benefactor, on the turnover. Ball off to Begaman. Begaman moving the ball down the sideline into the corner. Off Petey, comes back out, bounce pass is intercepted. Begaman fouling. Keith Massey broke the ball loose, and Begaman gets his and Parker's first foul. The team fouls are even at one apiece. 3.45 gone, first period. Freeman, eight, Parker, six. Up court is Gross on the side to Bob Petey, beating off on the baseline. Long one is in for Kent Miller. Miller off the end line. It's 10 to six, Freeman. Freeman leads 10 to six. Up court, here's Kelly Flynn on the outside to Mike Roth. Roth moving up. Moving the ball to Flynn, coming in on a zigzag dribble to Huseman. He head on from 18, it's in. Huseman, second basket is 10 to 8. Freeman 10, Parker 8, and here is Mark Gross into the front court. Pass off to Gary Gertz to Gross, to Gertz, to Petey, outside. Here's a Gross 20-footer, switch. Gross with a one-hand jump, and it's 12 to 8, Freeman. Up court comes Mike Begaman, who has yet to take his long shot. He is defense here by Gary Gertz, but they switch off on him. Mark Gross is on him. A lob pass in on the lane, deflected, picked up, and shot by Stapleton, in and out. Hitting the heel of the rim and down to Mark Gross. Gross is attacking for Freeman. Pass off to Petey, back to Gross. Fires from 22 feet, it's skipping the rim, not good. And the whistle sounds underneath a push away on Keith Massey will be his second foul is a slight deficit for the number one flyer. Here's Mike Begaman into the front court, picked up by Mark Gross. Begaman on him top, one on one. How else could you play him? Pass off to Kelly Flynn in on the lane. And there's a piece of the ball grabbed by Mark Gross, but he also got a foul out of it. That's the third team foul on Freeman. Gross is first. Parker has one team foul. So Freeman leads 12 to eight. But Parker is close to the one and one. Here's Kelly Flynn getting a shot from 15 left good. Flynn scores. And it's 12 to 10. Freeman leads 12 to 10, and Mark Gross, a six-foot senior, moves the ball into the front court. Gives off to Gertz, back to Gross. Now to Petey, sliding through the traffic, shoots a one-hander, slips the rim, not good. The ball is taken out of there by Huseman. He took it away from Keith Massey. Pass off to Mike Begaman. Here's Begaman up court, challenged by Gary Gertz. Screen for Begaman by Stapleton. Back to Stapleton on the ball. Bounce pass. Now to Begaman, who has yet to get his outside shot. Gertz preventing him from getting a beat on the bucket. They don't want anything from him outside of, or inside of 25 feet. Dribbling behind his back. Flynn comes in, lays up. Not good. The rebound is Huseman. He lost the ball. Keith Massey may have a foul. Massey has drawn his third foul as he challenges Keith Huseman. That is a big one. Ron Bennett has his fourth coat off. Here's Huseman scoring. And it's 12 to 11. Huseman's second one, jumping the rim, not good. The rebound is pulled out by Keith Massey. So it's 12 to 11. The score to Freeman. They lead. Here's Petey with the ball across the defense. Now out on the point to Mark Gross. Gross on the deep corner to Kent Miller. Miller feeds off to Gross. Now on the left to Petey, in to Massey. He scores on an angle shot. Massey pokes it in. It's 14 to 11. It's 14 to 11. Into the front court, here's Huseman losing the ball to Miller. Huseman losing the ball. Giving the ball off to Gertz. Gertz into the front zone. Pass off on the right to Bob Petey. Outside now to Gertz. End line, jump shot, Miller, it's way off the mark, into the arms of Kelly Flynn, who comes out of backcourt. Kelly, Kelly, a four on two break, pass off Stapleton, scores! Kelly Flynn feeds off to Stapleton, it's 14 to 13, Freeman leads. There's Gary Gertz into the front zone, pass off to Mark Gross, to Gertz, now to Petey, working on the zone, shooting from 10, ball slips the rim, rebound Massey, deflected by Huseman. A damaging blow to the Flyers. Here's Kelly Flynn at the line. His free shot is in. Flynn has tied the game at 14 to 14. That's the fourth tie of the night. Flynn's second one in there. Flynn makes them both, and Parker has the lead. 
at 15 to 14. Here's Mark Gross moving up on the dribble. Parker in a 2-3 zone. Pass off to Gertz. Out front of the zone. Here's Gross giving, giving the ball in the corner to Kent Miller. Newcomer is Dave Jones for Freeman. Long shot. Gertz from 18 in the basket. Gertz from 18 out makes it 16 to 15. The lead is switched back to Freeman. Here's Mike Roth into the front court. Roth on Mark Gross after Roth. Pass off to Begaman. Watched closely by Gary Gertz. Begaman's long shot. Swig. Begaman gets about only his second long shot of the night off. He missed the first one, and it's 17 to 16. It came with 10 seconds left. Here's a long shot from the outside by Gertz. Not good. With two seconds, one second. The rebound is Mike Roth for Parker. They are open 24 hours a day just to serve you better. And here are just a few of the things you can find at the mini hop. 50% with nine rebounds. Second quarter tip off. Stapleton has the ball for Parker. The lead changed hands six times. The game was tied four times in a fine first quarter. Here comes Quinn across the lane. His shot is deflected by Massey, who's back in the ball game. He gets the rebound, or gets the uh, ball off the block shot, actually, and feeds off to Gertz, who's up court. Gertz out on the top of the circle to Mark Gross. Back to Gertz. Pass to Petey. Petey's been held without a point, but he hasn't had much of a chance to shoot either. Jump shot from outside by Gertz. Misses everything. Ball comes down into the arms of Kent Miller, who scored. And it's 18 to 17. The lead has switched for the seventh time to Freeman's side of the ledger. Here's Huseman with the ball in the front court, trying to feed Flynn coming by. Huseman now goes into the circle and feeds Flynn, firing from the left side. Flynn is short. Rebound Massey. Outlet to Petey. Up court. Down the side. Bounce pass end line. And working under the layup is not good for Gertz. Recovery. And the shot is going to go in for Miller. There is a foul called on the play. Basket will count. The second basket of this quarter. And it's 20 to 17. Freeman has the lead. They had a four point lead early at 10 to 6, which is the biggest of the night. Kent Miller, a 6'3 junior, takes aim and hits the heel of the rim too hard, not good. The rebound, up and in by Gary Gertz. Gertz scores at 22 to 17. The lead is Freeman. Parker attacking. Mike Begaman to the front court, works down the sideline, fires from 10. He's short. The defense of Kent Miller broke that shot down. And now the rebound draws a foul. And four on Freeman. Up court, there's Mark Gross on the side to Petey. Now to Gary Gertz, deep on the corner. Back out to Gertz, who fires the lefty from the left. Good! Nice shot by Gary Gertz, and it's 24 to 17. The Freeman Flyers firing into a seven-point lead. Here's Begaman coming down the sideline. Back off to Mike Roth, to Huseman, who was run into by Miller, trying to cut him off, and he got a foul for it. Miller's foul will be his first. And Freeman has put Parker on the one and one on that one. At the shooting line is Huseman. Huseman on the one and one. 24 17, Freeman leading. Huseman's shot is good. Eight straight points have been scored by Freeman until Huseman ends the string with two free shots. the front zone now. Dave Jones moving the ball for Freeman. Pass off to Gary Gertz. Jones on the end line to Kent Miller, who is challenged. Offensive foul charge on Kent Miller would be his second. Twenty-four to nineteen, the score. Freeman leading Parker. Oh, well, that's his third, rather. He got one of those. We thought it was Massey. So each uh, Massey and Miller each have three which puts Freeman in a little bad shape in that respect. Bounce pass coming through Kelly Flynn layup. It's there. Flynn and a beautiful pass off from Robert Stapleton has scored. And it's 24 to 21. Long shot left side, not good. Freeman's long shooting has held it up. And there is a whistle on the play. A foul charge here on Dave Jones. It's been Freeman's outside shooting against Parker's insiding. 
to this here, District 12 at Watertown. Castle with 53, Hamlin 50, and two overtime. Kelly Flynn scores the free throw. 24-22 as Parker's come from 24-17 with a string of its own. After Freeman had fashioned eight in a row, Flynn makes it good again. And Parker, with Flynn scoring twice, has come to 24-23 with six straight points of its own. Up court, corner pass to Gert. Back out to newcomer Mike Waldner. Now across the defense pass is to Waldner. Ten-footer skims the rim, not good. Huseman rebound for Parker. Huseman having a little bit the better of it now with Keith Massey sitting out with three fouls. Huseman gave four inches away to him. Here's Mike Begeman. Bounce pass to Flynn on the corner. Flynn looking off a screen, asks for it, and gets it from Huseman, but then it uh, tightens up in the middle. He goes back to Huseman, off to Begeman, a quick turn off. Good! Begeman, a turn off in midair, scores at 25-24. It's eight straight points now for Parker, equaling Freeman's eight-point run. 25-24, Parker. Pass off here, Dave Jones, outside. Gross, swish from long range. Mark Gross has scored, and it's 26-25 to 25 as the lead has switched hands again. Into the front court is Huseman. Pass off on the side to Kelly Flynn. Driving off a Huseman screen, he's open from 14. Go! 27 to 26, it's a play they tried to work a minute ago and it wouldn't work, it did this time. Gross is up court. Pass off left to Waldner, back to Gross, whose shot is broken up by Begeman. He goes out of bounds and rides off the back of Mark Gross. And the crowd mixed in its emotions on that. Begeman gets the ball and comes up and scores. Mike Begeman hangs it in heavy traffic and it's 29 to 26. Parker has come from 24 to 17 at the turn in this period. Up court, ball is fumbled by Dave Jones, but there is a foul on the play. I believe Stapleton is charged with it. It'll be his first foul, three fouls on Parker, team-wise. Play resuming. Massey back in, gets an inbounds pass. His shot slips the rim, not good. The tip up's not good. Another one by Petey's not good. But the whistles are counted on Mike Huseman. This crowd being treated, treated to a honey of a game. Petey short. Bob has not scored tonight. The lead has changed hands 10 times in the first quarter and a half. Petey's second shot is slipping in and making his first point of the night for him. 29-27, Parker. Here's Mike Roth into the front court. Pass on the side to Robert Stapleton. Back off to Mike Begeman off of Stapleton's screen. He lets go from 14 right in again. Begeman pumps his fifth basket free from the outside and it's 31-27, Parker, with three and a half to play in the first half. Here's Petey up court, moving the ball off to Gary Gertz. There's a shovel off by Dave Jones to the corner. Back off, now to Massey, turn shooting over Huseman, slipping the rim and back in off the glass. Massey has scored his fourth basket. 31 to 29, Parker. Into the front zone, down the lane, Begeman layup, it is not good. And he tried to slice through there, it's called for traveling. Back in is Mark Gross. Gross returning for Dave Jones in the Freeman lineup with 3.04 to go. Here's Mark Gross moving the ball up court. Feeds off to Bob Petey, bounce pass corner to Kent Miller, in to Massey, turn shooting from 12 over Houston, not good. Petey rebounds, can't get it up there. And the rebound is chased off the floor and out of bounds by Kelly Flynn. Flynn did a toboggan ride along the end line trying to reach that ball, which just got out of his grasp. Petey ready to bring in. Outside shot, Gertz from 19, sails short. Rebound is on the corner, but the whistles have halted play in the lane. At the shooting line will be Kent Miller. 31-29, Parker. Shot not good. Rebound pulled off by Houston. For Parker, he feeds it off to Mike Begeman. Begeman bringing the ball down. Begeman heading off toward the sideline. Bounce pass corner to Robert Stapleton. Stapleton looking in at Huseman, feeds him the ball, he cuts under, fakes a reverse layoff and goes to Flynn. Here's a shot block by Massey, but the ball is down to Roth, and he feeds to Begeman, the 22-footer is good. Mike Begeman drills again from out front, it's 33 to 29. 
Parker leads with 2.20 to go, 2.22 to go in the half. Up court is Gary Gertz, feed off to Mark Gross, corner pass is to Kent Miller. Parker staying in that 2-3. Bob Peaty feeds across it to Massey, 10-foot shot, slips in and back off the glass and goes to the basket. Massey scores his fifth one and is 33-31, to 31, Parker leading. Robert Stapleton down the sidelines, gives to Mike Fagerman. Fagerman heading off on Gar Gary Gertz's defense, bounce pass through. Here's a fake by Huseman, and a shot is going in. A great move by Mike Huseman, who faked out on Keith Massey. Gave him a swivel hip, and it's 35 to 31. Into the front court comes Gary Gertz. Feed off Petey. He fires in, but travels. Petey firing down the lane, travels. 142 to go in the first half. Parker 35, Freeman 31. Inbounds pass to Huseman. Pass off to Kelly Flynn. Parker getting that ball inside better than Freeman, but the Flyers have certainly had their share of the leadership tonight. The lead's changed hands 10 times. Pass out to Stapleton on the top of the circle here in the south court. Now to Mike Roth with a minute 25. Parker slowing down here a little bit, trying to set one up. Here comes Fagerman off a screen by Huseman, letting go from 15. Not good this time. Rebound by Stapleton, knocked away from him by Bob Peaty. Peaty lost the ball out of bounds on the knockaway. And here's Kelly Flynn to bring in under the south basket for Parker. They stack up on the free throw circle, and he lofts the ball out to the center circle to Mike Roth. Roth fakes right and goes left to Begeman, who's watched by Gary Gertz. Bounce pass back to Mike Roth with a minute five in the first half. 35-31, Parker. Roth bounce pass off to Kelly Flynn. He circles and comes in on a six-footer shot. Not good. Rebound is yanked off by Bob Peaty who is a, a 17 per game rebounder for Freeman. Up court, pass off on the end line. The shot is slipping the rim for Petey. The rebound by Massey is going to go in. Massey scores his sixth basket, 35-33 Parker, with 40 seconds to go in the half. Here's Roth slipping and traveling as he dragged the pivot foot. Roth tried to stop and couldn't. The ready to bring in will be Mark Gross. Bounce pass into Gary Gertz. Gertz moving down, pass on the end line. In on the post, Massey, 10-footer, switch. Keith Massey hits again, his seventh basket, 35 up with 30 seconds. 35 and 35, Massey's seventh hit. Here's Roth into the front court, feeding to Huseman with 17 seconds. Pass off is to Kelly, Kelly Flynn, who comes in and lays up after almost losing the ball. Flynn on a layup and a 37-35 Parker. Long shot, Petey, score with two seconds. Petey off the sideline, scores it, and it's... Yeah, members of the Del Rapids Commercial Club, the business club members are proud of their community. And former South Dakota State University basketball star and head coach at the Yankton College Greyhounds. John shooting for 500 on Saturday night against Northwestern of Iowa. Second half is underway. Massey turn shooting and slipping the rim with a shot, not good, the follows up and in. It was Kent Miller sticking the follow-up, and it's 39-37. Freeman has taken the lead back. It's the 11th change of leadership. Begeman moves the ball across and gives it to Mike Roth. 39-37, Freeman. Roth gives off to Begeman in the uh, pivot position to Huseman, feeding off to Roth. Looks at Kelly Flynn, but comes outside to Huseman. Down the lane pass is to Stapleton. Off to Flynn, who's getting a screen and shooting not good. Stapleton after the rebound, so is Flynn, but so is a tumbling... Kent Miller, who goes off the end line as the ball shaggers at the north end get the ball back in play, and we'll have a jump ball to resume it. Here's Kent Miller ready to jump against Robert Stapleton. Miller having height of four inches on Stapleton, and he out-tipped him, but the ball is picked off by Mike Begeman, who was in the right spot in the left corner of the north court. Back to Stapleton, now to Begeman. In on the pivot to Huseman. Huseman feeds off Begeman, 15-footer left, not good. The rebound is pulled off by Bob Petey of Freeman. Up court he comes, four on four. Petey's going to come in and shovel shoot, not good. Rebound is up and in by Ken Miller. Miller stuck the follow-up, and it's 41 to 37 for Freeman. Up court is Begeman, giving the ball off to Huseman. Huseman on the end line to Kent Flynn. Now out to Begeman, 20-footer hit. Begeman scoring off Mark Gross, who was doing him up pretty well on the defense. It's 41 to 39, Freeman. Up court, here's Gross on the right side to Gertz. Back to Gross, to Gertz. Now here's the screen, and Gross shoots from 20 feet. The ball bounds the bracket up on the glass, down on the rim and off, and out of bounds. 
tipped out by Parker. Ready to bring in is Bob Peaty. It's 41-39, Freeman leading Parker. Inbounds pass to Mark Gross. Out on the pivot, the ball is deflected and grabbed by Mark Gross. Gross moving around, bounce pass off on the right. Now the ball is knocked loose by Mike Roth. Roth on the steal, up court to Kelly Flynn. He's driving and scoring on the layup. Off tough defense by Gary Gertz. Kelly Flynn scores it, and it's 41 up. Game is deadlocked. Seventh time, switch off the left side by Petey. Lead has changed 11. The game's been tied on seven occasions, and here's Mike Begaman moving the ball up. 43-41, Freeman. Now to Roth. Roth pivoting out around the center circle. is crowded hard here by Gross and gets a jump ball. Roth and Gross will jump here. Five-second rule giving a center jump here to Mark Gross. He gets the tip off and gets the ball to Gary Gertz, and Freeman sets up. Gertz comes in. Moves the ball outside, jump shot Miller, way short. Rebound is taken away from Keith Massey by the smaller Kelly Flynn. For Parker, pass to Mike Begaman. Two and a half minutes into the third quarter. Begaman on the move, down the sideline. Pass back off to Mike Roth, 43-41 Freeman. Here's a drive by Kelly Flynn. Shot is good. Kelly Flynn with a beautiful mid-air set shot, if you can do anything like that. He really took aim, hanging in mid-air, and hung it. 43 up, that's the eighth tie of the game. Strong jump shot by Petey is in the net, but the whistle sounded ahead of it. A foul, basket may count. The basket is going to count, and Kelly Flynn will get the first foul of the second half on either team. Basket will count for Petey. Inbound, shot not good, Petey follows it. And it's 47-43. Freeman has the lead, back by four. Mike Begaman moving the ball into the north court. Begaman heading down the sidelines. Lob pass into Huseman. Feeding back to Begaman. Little hook up. It's not good. Rebound, Petey of Freeman. Petey bringing the ball out of backcourt. Fires it across to Gertz. Gertz shoveling back off to Keith Massey. Fumbled and picked up by Mike Ross. Ross moving up. And a grab. Gertz gets the ball in to Mark Gross. Bounce pass in is... Lost for a moment now, picked up and shot across by Petey to Massey, scores! And Freeman has a 49-43 lead with three and a half minutes gone. Three and a half into the third period. Freeman up by six, lob pass to Huseman. Huseman feedback, Stapleton 10-footer, bouncing off short. Huseman tips it up, not good, and the rebound is Petey. The outlets to Mark Gross. Gross moves them all down. Pass back is to Petey, 20 footer short. Rebound is going to be Begaman. Begaman took it away from Petey and Miller with plain aggressiveness. Mike Begaman moving into the front zone, heads to his right, to the baseline, works under, pass off, Stapleton shoots, not good. Rebound by Massey. Massey has the ball and gives off to Gary Gertz as Freeman's height is helping a good deal now for the Flyers. Pass off to Gross. He's in on the lane, shoveling up, not good. The ball is on the lane, picked off by Mike Roth, and the whistles are sounding. Into the front court, down the lane, shovels back to Flynn, fake, outside Begaman, 21 foot, shot, not good. Rebound is pulled out of there by Massey. He was sitting on Huseman in midair as he got that one. Up court pass off is to Gross. Gross outside, gives the ball to Gertz. Now to Gross, Freeman leading, 49-43. Cross the defense pass, set shot Gertz from 20, good. Gary Gertz hangs one, and it's 51 to 43. With three minutes left in the third period, Freeman has put together eight straight points like they did in the second period. Begaman into the front court, shot not good. Petey clears the board for Freeman. Brings the ball up court. Here's Petey into the front zone. Pass off, deflected out of bounds by newcomer Joel DeVries. There's going to be a timeout on the floor where Joe can fix anything. And Berg Electric, Sea Royal for GE Appliances, wiring, plumbing, and heating. Members of the Baltic Community Club. Play resuming, Parker setting up. Pass down the lane to Huseman. Six-foot shot, skips the rim, not good. Rebound to Kent Miller. 
Pass off now is to Bob Petey. Petey off to Miller. On the right corner, a fake pass in on the lane. Quick turner at the end line by Miller's not good. Rebound Petey, he's gonna go up and score, but the whistles beat him. Foul charge will be on Ross. First foul on him. Inbound pass for Freeman. Gertz, 20-foot shot, head on, good. Gertz scores, it's 53 to 43. As Freeman has built the biggest lead of the night. A 10-pointer for Freeman, up court. Here's Mike Ross on the end line. Giving the ball off to Joel DeVries. Feeds off on the left to Kelly Flynn. Flynn off a screen by Huseman, swish from 14 feet. Kelly Flynn connects, and it's 53 to 45, Freeman. 155 to play in the third period. Here comes Mark Gross on the dribble. Gross moving down. Pass across is out of bounds. Freeman lost the ball out of bounds. Ball belonging to Parker. Here's Mike Ross giving in to Mike Begaman. Begaman moving into the north zone. Pass off to Flynn. Ron Bennett down on one knee, motioning his players to do something. Huseman side shooting that good. Rebound is Kent Miller. Freeman's board work's been fabulous in this third period. Up court is Gross. Pass off Petey. Back to Gross. Lay up. It's going in for Mark Gross. All five players have scored in this quarter, and it's 55-45 Freeman with a minute 20. Here's Fagerman hustling up court on Gertz, trying to go in and lay up on Gertz, and Gertz fouled him. Mike Fagerman barreling to the baseline off Carl Gertz, or Gary Gertz, who tried to head him off and pushed away on him. Maybe two shots here for Fagerman. A pair for Mike. 55-45 Freeman, first one. Fills the nets for Begaman. 55 46. He's got seven buckets tonight. And swish, two free throws. 55 47. Freeman up on Parker with a minute 13 in the third period. Here's Mark Gross on the dribble. Pass off on the side. Now in on the lane. A quick turn up shot. It's not good by Kent Miller coming down the lane. Kelly Flynn trying to head him off. Has drawn the foul. Flynn, second. And ready to bring the ball in from the south end line. Here's Bob Petey for Freeman. Pass in on the corner to Gross. Outside now to Gertz. In on the lane. Massey back off shot. Skipping away and scoring anyway. As Massey's back away. Seemed to come off the rim. And spun back up and drops in. 57-47 Freeman with a minute to play. Third period. Begaman down the lane. Double dribble. Begaman turning it over. Here's Jeff Begaman coming in for Kelly Flynn. Kelly's had an 18-point night in the first three periods. One minute short of that. There's Mark Gross. Pass off on the side to Petey. Now to Gross. 20-footer off the rim. It's not good. The rebound to Joel DeVries of Parker. Feeds off to Mike Begum. Begum moving down with 40 seconds to play in the third period to DeVries. DeVries driving. Couldn't shoot, but Alex not to bounce. Pass to Huseman. He lost the ball. Picks it back up. Wheels off. Here's a Begum 20-footer slipping the rim and up on the... Basket supports automatically out of bounds. The ball goes out of bounds off the basket supports behind the glass board. Up court comes Mark Gross. Feed off on the right side to Gary Gertz. Shot attempt is changed by Begaman. Back off to Gross. He lets go that lefty. It's not good. Or Gertz rather shooting, and Gross has the rebound. Pass off on the corner to Kent Miller, who's driving. Passing off to Massey. Jump shot from six is good. Keith Massey's left-hander beats the buzzer at three-quarters. Freeman, 59. Club, whose members include the Baltic Co-op Lumber Company of Crook, Crook Garage, Carl Five for Popper Freeman. Parker had four baskets and two free throws. Freeman hit 10 for 20, 50%. They out-rebounded Parker 15 to 5 in the big statistics. Parker hit 4 of 15 for 26.6 in that period. Fourth quarter underway. Freeman has the ball. Here's Gross. Moving it outside, bounce pass end line to Kent Miller. Turn shot from 15, slips off, not good. Rebound, Petey, turn up on the glass, not good. Rebound, Huseman, but the ball is taken away from him by teammate Mike Ross. Ross moving up, Freeman leads. Parker, 59 to 47 as we go into the fourth quarter. Coming out of the corner, here's a Mike Begaman long one-hander, not good. Rebound by Bob Petey. Freeman outboarding Parker, 16 to five in this second half, and that's been a telltale statistic. Pass on the side to Gertz. 
And of course they upside. Here's a pass off underneath. Is Massey paid off shooting? Not good. The whistles are sounding. A turnover charged on Freeman. Up court now comes Mike Ross. Ross moving the ball up. Looking for Begaman. Pass off on the side here to Joel DeVries. DeVries working down off a screen, works under. His shot's partially blocked, followed by Huseman. It's good. Huseman's first basket of the second half, and it's 59 to 49. Full court pressure put on here by Parker, and Begaman has drawn a foul. It'll be his second of the night. It's the fourth team foul on Parker. In this half, Freeman has just one. Parker going to full court pressure now. And Mark Gross goes to the line. Freeman's just getting tremendous scoring balance. Everybody has scored in every quarter except Petey in the first period. Free shot not good. Rebound pulled off and pumped by Petey. He is challenged and fouled by Jeff Begaman. Fifteen foul on Parker. Doug Richards, an honorary captain of the Parker team, not in uniform, with a muscle illness since the first game of the season. Doug, you may remember last year, came in against Jefferson and had a whale of a game. But the muscle problem has bothered him ever since the first game this year, and He's still an honorary member of the Parker team. Both shots missed by Petey. Rebound, it's Huseman's for Parker. Gives off to Kelly Flynn. Flynn up court to Mike Begaman. Begaman lob pass in on the lane. Feeding across to Mike Begaman. Now outside to Huseman. Huseman moving the ball off to Kelly Flynn. Flynn outside to Mike Ross. Ross, Ross passing through. Ball is picked off by Kent Miller. Now to Bob Petey, 59-49. Freeman leads with six and a half minutes to play in the game. And Freeman sets up. Gary Gertz works in across to Massey. He shoots from six. It's good again. Keith Massey's left hand has been too much for Parker to cope with. That will be his 11th basket of the night, a 22-point evening to this point. Huseman works in on the defense. It's 61-49. Begaman feeds off to Kelly Flynn. Score off the end line. Kelly Flynn hits from the baseline and it's 61 to 51. Parker in full court pressure, interception, Flynn scores! Parker pressure produces a 61 to 53. Two straight baskets by Parker into the front court. Now comes Kent Miller. Back outside to Mark Gross. A long one from outside is good for Petey. Petey scores at 63 to 53. 63-53, Freeman leading. Into the front court comes Mike Begaman. Begaman on the end line, 10-footer, slips the rim, not good. Massey has rebounded. He has been very domineering in the board department. Pass off to Petey, he's cutting down court. Pass off, Gary Gertz, swish off the left corner. Gertz scores. Massey with 11 of 15 baskets and 10 rebounds. 65-53, Freeman leads with five minutes to play in the ball game. Here is Flynn. Feeding off to Begaman. End lining from 15. He's short. Rebound is Petey's. He is pushed off one by Mike Begaman. His third foul. 65-53, Freeman. And at the shooting line will be Bob Petey. 5,640 is the attendance tonight. So we weren't too far off in guesstimating around six and starting at five in the second game tonight. Petey's free shot not good. Massey sticks it again. Massey hit an eight-footer off the side and it's 67 to 53 with 455. Freeman leading by 14. Huseman has the ball at the end line. Fakes Massey into a lean over or a foul into. Massey's fourth foul. A great fake by Huseman got number four. It's 67-53, Freeman. Foul four comes with 4.43 to play. Inbounds, bounce pass, Begaman. Shot blocked from behind. Excellent effort by Mark Gross. Who brings the ball up now for Freeman. Pass off to Miller. 15-footer slips the rim. Not good. The rebound, Petey. Petey scoring as Freeman's size has filled it to 16. 
69 to 53. Up court is Mike Begaman. Bounce pass to Huseman, working under. He carried the dribble. Sixty-nine, fifty-three. Freeman with four twenty-two to play. Up court now comes Mark Gross. Gross moving into the south court. Pass off to Gary Gertz. Gertz outside to Gross. Pass off to Petey in on the lane to Massey. Ten-footer is not good this time. Rebound is going to be Miller's. Not good again. Miller after the ball batted up by Petey. Not good. And Huseman comes out of there. Parker has just not been able to cope with Freeman's size tonight. Into the front court is Begaman. Pass on the side to Kelly Flynn. Twenty-footer is. In there for Kelly. Nice night for Kelly Flynn. He's got five baskets in this half and four in the first half. It's 69 to 55. Up court, there's a timeout on the floor on the Freeman attack. Freeman 69, Parker 50. That big win for the tribe. They're in college getting a piece of the SDIC title tonight. Freeman 69, Parker 55. USD Springfield and Dakota Wesleyan in a solid second place tie right behind here on one game back. Pass across here to Gross. His shot in midair is blocked. He is coming down with the ball and charged with traveling. 3.27 to play. Freeman leads 69 to 55. Up court, Begaman off to Kelly Flynn. Pass off to Mike or Jeff Begaman. On the corner to Stapleton, now to Flynn, who feeds off to Begaman. Mike's 20-footer is jumping the rim, not good. Rebound is pulled out of there by Gary Gertz of Freeman. Up court to Mark Gross, bounce pass through, turn shot, good for Kent Miller. 71 to 55, Freeman. Up court is Kelly Flynn, down the sidelines, off Petey. He's going in to try a layup, not good. Ball is knocked off the floor by Keith Massey. Ready to bring in will be Kelly Flynn. Bounce pass off to Bob Stapleton. Now to Jeff Begaman. On the corner to Flynn. To Mike Begaman into Huseman. Feeding off to Jeff Begaman. A switch from 18 feet off the left side of the circle by Jeff Begaman. Makes it 71 to 57. Up court interception by Kelly Flynn on the attack. He's going in. Laying up is Huseman on the pass off by Kelly Flynn. Flynn on a beautiful backhand assist at 71 to 59. Freeman leads with two and a half minutes to play. Up court comes Mark Gross. Pass off is to Gary Gertz. Ron Bennett up on his feet again off that Freeman bench. Gail Hoover has been seated pretty much the whole ball game on that Parker bench. So ringing that red towel. Here is a timeout on the floor with 2.12 to play. Freeman, 71. South Carolina State beat Morgan State 78-77. Danny? Play is back in and Freeman sets up. There is a foul called on the play. 71-59, Freeman leads with 2.10 to go. Three shot by Miller's good. Kent Miller scores and it's 72-59. Freeman Leading Parker here in the first game or second game of the semifinals of District 21. Second shot by Miller is good, and it's 73 to 59. Freeman leads up court. Jeff Begaman works to the baseline and travels. Ken Miller giving the ball off to Mark Gross, who gets across the 10-second line on a pass to Gary Gertz. Now the pass off to Massey, he fades off and shoots and scores, but three-second violation will nullify it. In the lane too long. 73-59, Freeman with 155. Kelly Flynn heads the ball up court for Parker. Pulls up fires from 15, good. Flynn with a great night, 26 points. Seven baskets in the last half alone. For 14 and 12 in the first half. Interception by Parker, and Mike Begaman hits from long range. It's 73-63 with a minute 40. And coming down the sidelines as Parker puts the pressure on, the whistle sound on Stapleton. Up 
Parker making a last ditch bid here, coming from 71.55 with 2.12 to go. Getting six straight points here to close the gap to 10 again. At the line will be Bob Peaty. He missed it, but it rolls back in. That ball rolls the complete ring up on the glass and back on the rim and flops in. 74-63, swishes the second one, and it's 75-63. With Freeman leading, up court, Kelly Flynn cruises in on the lane, lost the ball for a moment, picks it back up, knocked away by PD, picks it back up and travels. 124 to play. Freeman 75, Parker 63. Quite a ball game. Petey coming out of backcourt. Feeds the ball off to Gary Gert. He's down the sidelines off. A turn shot good for Kent Miller. There's a pushing penalty charged, I believe, on Begaman. Begaman's foul will be his fourth. Miller scoring the basket and he'll get it. And a three-point possibility. 77-63 as Freeman opens it to 14 again with a minute and 17. Three shot is not good. Rebound pulled down by Bob Peaty. Across the defense pass is to Keith Massey. His shot is bouncing away, not good. Ball is picked up and missed by Peaty, and he's fouled by Stapleton. I think one of the most unusual banners that we've seen in the arena in some years is the big, long, white one that the Parker cheering section has up. Just one big, long word. And it certainly is quite a thing to know. Sportsmanship. Petey misses the first free throw. It's 77-63. Second one is not good either. And coming out of backcourt is Kelly Flynn. He's taken an awfully hard fall, but he's up now and all right. Flynn taking a hard spill. And it will be Freeman's foul with the bring in here by Mike Begaman. Getting into Kelly Flynn. Back to Begaman with a minute at 77-63. Freeman pass off to Kelly Flynn working the end line. Petey has pushed off on him. That's his first foul of the night. 77-63. Or second, rather. At the line is Kelly Flynn. With seven buckets in the last half. Four here in the last quarter. He's rallied Parker time after time. Shot not good. Rebound, Petey falls down. Tips the ball off to Massey up court. To Kent Miller. He comes in and shoots off Begaman. Not good. The ball is tipped off the floor and out of bounds by Freeman. 46 seconds to go. Freeman, 77. Parker, 63. Up court, down floor on the dribble goes Jeff Begaman, giving to Huseman, off to Stapleton, trying to work through, he can't get in. Now to Huseman, faking and driving, the shot's not good. The foul is on Kent Miller. 77 to 63. Miller drawing number four. So both he and Massey, who had three in the first half, Massey's came, number three came with 51 left in the first period. Have played very carefully the rest of the way. Free shot by Huseman, not good. Big hand for Keith Massey, who comes out with 14 and 10, a 24 point night for Keith Massey. Free shot by Huseman, it's bouncing in. And it's 78 to 63. Freeman. Up court, newcomer, Mike Waldner, end line shooting, not good. Tie ball, underneath between Kelly Flynn and Kent Miller. Miller's had an 18-point night. The tip and the shot by Jones isn't good. Ball chased off the sideline by Mike Begaman, but he went across the sideline with the ball. Petey, after a slow start, has 15, so that front line really produced for Freeman. Four of their starters in double figures here tonight. Ball is tipped out of bounds here by Parker with 15 seconds. 77 to 
64. I wondered where that other point came from there a little bit ago. Here's an inbounds pass to Petey. Shoot short. And the ball is fired up on a rebound. Not good. Begaman gets the ball up floor and passed it beyond Jeff Begaman. And Kelly Flynn comes up with Jeff's turn back shot and scores. <laughs> Kelly Flynn hit at the buzzer to 77 to 66. Freeman defeating the Parker Pheasants and knocking off last year's finalists. So in the same night, both teams who made the state championship game last year here at the arena have been eliminated within hours of each other. Just before this game started, the word came in that Castlewood beat Hamlin, 53 to 50 in double overtime. And Hamlin, which conquered Parker here in the title game last year, was followed to the sidelines by the Parker Pheasants.
Thank <laughs> you. 